Here we have a song that's actually really perfect for a lot of vocal tutorials, especially those who are basically either singing or rapping over a beat. This unreleased track that I did with a producer with me rapping and my wife singing. So you get to get a sense of what it was like back in the apartment recording and mixing vocals inside of one of those kind of booth reflection booth things and we use that in order to get rid of a lot of the reflections that happen around the room what i'm going to show you today is basically where do you get started right i did a video on where to start with vocals basically basic vocal treatment kind of but i want to simplify this i like to start with a single vocal solo vocal okay Take out the ad-libs, mute the dubs, all that stuff, right? I'm gonna do this in mono because I do everything in mono. And when I'm working with vocals, I'm using my super audio cubes because they help me monitor. Find something that helps you monitor vocals really well. And if you don't have something to help you monitor vocals really well, I'm gonna show you a trick in another video of what you can do without having to spend money on monitors. So first, Again, sound ID, I run mono on here. Normally I will run this on my quantum, I have a mono button, but for your ears only, I'm going to use the mono button on the sound ID so you'll be able to catch this in mono. Now I'm gonna play the track, I've already turned it down and we're going to first gain stage this. So clearly we can all hear that the vocals are too low in comparison to the music. So we're going to turn up all of the vocals until that voice, that verse starts to start appearing above the music. I want to just focus on this vocal here. So 4 dB and we can hear it over the music. You can hear the clash and it's hard to hear. You got to turn it up 4 dB to get there, but that's okay. I'm now going to go ahead and insert my SSL XEQ. At the same time, I'm going to insert an SSL XEQ on the music. And what I'm going to be listening for is what is clashing between my monitors and what and where? What happened? I had never been here. What do I look like? I ain't never seen fear. Change my directions. Better yet, career. Oh dear, this is abusive. Like gotta be now looking translucent. Fear's hard to come by. Worth every two cents. I paid for the life. Got my souls in the music. Imagine what it's worth now. Working real hard. Only reason that I'm late. Second time coming out. Third time get it straight. I ain't made like I'm high off endorphins. Me down the orphans and dorm to relax, bro. I don't see the same sun, so leave it all behind like your sadness. When you see a strap, it feels like madness. Happen at your misery, getting no love. Now you're shot again, feeling me. So clearly, in that 300s range here, it's there's a lot going on. Okay, anytime I'm dealing with music like this, and if I feel like there's an obvious vocal area, I'll try to reach for some type of analog emulation first. But for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and use the SSL EQ here. I'm gonna solo this. And I'm gonna try to capture the whole range that's causing a problem. Can leave rashes, it's your for a purpose. You think it's all rap and what happened? I ain't never been here. What do I look like? I ain't never seen fear. Change my directions, better yet, career. Oh dear, this is abusive. The light got in me now looking translucent. Fear's hard to come by, worth every two cents. I paid for the lifestyle, my soul's in the music. Imagine what it's worth now. Working real hard, only reason that I'm late. Second time coming out, third time get it straight. I ain't made like I'm high off endorphins. Let me down the orphans. Okay, so about that much starts allowing that vocal to appear and you can kind of hear the music dying back some. That's about 3 dB down at 300 hertz. That opens up some of a pocket in order for the vocal to kind of cut through. The next thing we can't really hear is a topping on this vocal. Obviously, 
we can't really make out some of the um, enunciation and sibilances inside of this vocal. That gives you a red flag and kind of a light bulb that, hey, we need some more high frequencies in this voice. So let's go ahead and search for that. And the first thing I'm gonna do is a high shelf because we don't need just one specific area. We need a whole swelth of frequencies that's not there. Can leave rashes, get you for a purpose. You think it's all rap, but what happened? I ain't never been here. What do I look like? I ain't never seen fear. Change my directions, better yet, career. Oh dear, this is abusive. Like got to me now, looking translucent. Fear's hard to come. So what I'm pinpointing is this area where it gets nasally if I move it any further left and then it gets too airy and doesn't capture the throat any more to the right. So there's a middle ground where this is with shelves and I'm boosting it just so I can hear the fine line, that threshold between nasally and breathy and I'm putting it smack dab in the middle. The reason why I do this is because I can then take the cue to adjust if I need it to be more nasally or if I want it to be more airy. And so I'm in this pocket between the two of how I need the high frequencies to respond to my voice. I worked every two since I paid for the lifestyle. My soul's in the music. Imagine what it's worth now. Working real hard. Only reason that I'm late. Second time coming out. Third time get it straight. I ain't fake like I'm high off in your office. Let me down the office and do them to relax, bro. Y'all don't see the same sun, so leave it all behind like so I'm adjusting the gain by listening to how much of a difference there is between not having any high frequencies and boosting the high frequencies. If I hear my highs just literally jump out of my speakers like this, it's probably too much. The more you listen to your speakers, the more you'll be able to determine and ascertain how much high frequencies is too much. And in these super audio cubes inside of this room, if I really start hearing some hiss in the vocal, I've pushed these monitors too far in the high frequencies. The high frequencies should almost sound like it's rolled off on here, but it's at the limit to where it's rolled off. So in the moment I start hearing brittleness inside of these speakers, it's time to dial it back by the DB and it's gonna be perfect. Can leave rashes, get you for a purpose. You think it's all rap, but what happened? I ain't never been here. What do I look like? I ain't never seen fear. Change my direction. And I actually think right where the cue was was actually good. So here's the bypass. Since ready yet, career. Oh dear, this is abusive. Like gotta be now looking translucent. Cool. Um, now the next thing I'm hearing is that it needs more air. So we turned up enough high frequencies to kind of get the entire voice out, but it needs some special stuff up at the top. So the reason why I'm using a parametric EQ instead of just a regular analog style SSL EQ is because I need a lot of bands for different reasons. With that SSL EQ, you get a shelf, you get two bells, shelf. And so that may not be enough in order to shape the vocal. And I like to shape the vocals how I need to first, and then I use those as extra filters and extra bells when necessary. So I'm actually gonna put another shelf on here. I wanna see what it sounds like getting some more air out of this vocal. Fear's hard to come by, worth every two cents. I paid for the lifestyle, my soul's in the music. Imagine what it's worth now. Working real hard, only reason that I'm late. Second time coming out, third time get it straight. I ain't fake like I'm high off endorphins. Let me down the orphans and dorm to relax, bro. Y'all don't see the same sun, so leave it all behind like your sadness. When your tears dry, when it feels like madness. Happen at your misery, getting no love. Now we're shot, ain't feeling me. You can leave rashes, get your full purpose. You think it's all right? Like a DB right there off that 5K is making a huge difference. So here is the special thing. It's about 4.62, I call it 5K, we're gonna leave it 5K. I'm gonna turn this off because when you find analog emulations that work really well, they're probably better suited at doing certain stuff because they have what's called provided harmonics that come with it. In other words, you get a little saturation off the top end where digital EQs and the changes may sound a little bit harsh and you may want to apply some warmth and saturation afterwards. Sometimes it's better to go ahead and do it all in one plugin. One reason why I like the Mog is whether or not it has a transparent EQ or a little bit of saturation, I'm not really sure, but it has a lot of, it has a strong phase coherence. And around 5K, I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. And I trust this anytime I need to boost a lot in the low end and a lot in the high end because of that phase coherence. After what happened, I ain't never been here. What do I look like? I ain't never seen fear. Change my directions, ready yet, career. 
oh dear, this is abusive. Like gotta me now, looking translucent. Fears hard to come by, worth every two cents. I pay for the life, got my souls in the music. Imagine what it's worth now. Working real hard, only reason that I'm late. Second time coming out, third time. See, that's that brittleness moment that I was talking about. Time, get it straight. I ain't made like I'm high off in your office. Let me down the office and dorm to relax, bro. Y'all don't see the same sun, so leave it all behind like your sadness. When your tears dry, when it feels like madness. Happen at your misery, getting no love. Like when Shotty ain't feeling me, you can leave rashes. Get you for a purpose. You think it's all right, but what happened? I ain't never been here. And so, I, at this point, I can clearly hear the tongue, the enunciation of words and phrases very clearly i mean it's sticking through beautifully now the question is i'm doing all this boosting okay but what about that mid-range because anytime you boost the low end and anytime you boost the high end you're always going to live leap bleh. you're always going to be left with this deficit in the mid-range and that's what's important so a lot of times what i'll do especially if i'm using a mog i'm going to check that mid-range so i have the mog position right here at 1k just to see if this needs a little bit more honkiness to it. What do I look like? I ain't never seen fear. Change my directions, better yet career. Oh dear, this is abusive. The light got in me now looking translucent. Fear's hard to come by, worth every two cents I pay. So the reason why I'm doing 1K specifically is because that is not the most sensitive frequency in the human ear but it's the one that we pay attention to most because that is the center frequency of the vocal range if you ever look at a frequency spectrum plot you're always going to see 1k smack dab in the middle and that's because we are attentive to 1k the most it is the easiest thing for us to recognize as far as vocal and human speech Anytime you band pass something, the reason why you can get away with just leaving the mid range and why, you know, um, Cole Caperon says magic's in the mid range is because 1K is your center frequency. Everything is governed around Sir Holy 1K. And so I always start, anytime I need a boost mid range, I'm always going to listen to 1K. I'm going to see. Is that necessary? If I need some 1K, but I need a little bit more low mid magic, then I'm probably gonna boost around that 800 to 600 range. If I need some more upper mids and I still need some of that 1K, we're gonna look at 1.4 here, or if I just need a wide band. So here, 1K sounds pretty good, but it's really resonant to you. Listen. Hey, for the lifestyle, my soul's in the music. Imagine what it's worth now. Working real hard, only reason that I'm late. Second time coming. Now let's soften that by using a wide band, which is gonna put our center at frequency at 1400. Now, third time, get it straight. I ain't fate like I'm high off endorphins. Let me down the orphans and dorm to relax, bro. Y'all don't see the same sense of It's not as harsh. So I'm gonna boost this and see if I just like it first. Leave it all behind like your sadness. When your tears dry, then it feels like madness. Happen at your misery, getting no love. Now you're shot again, feeling me. You can leave rashes, get your full purpose. It's all rap, but what happened? I ain't never been here. What do I look like? I ain't never seen fear. Change my directions, ready yet career. Oh dear, this is abusive. Like, yeah. Okay, I'm not really feeling like it needs this mid range, it needs 1K boosted. It needs some compression.